three. Here we go. So there's a lot going on here. So we want to find the axis of symmetry, vertex. We have all these things that we want to find. And then we also want to label like how it moves and how it's different from the parent function. So if we start here, first of all, let's label our H and our K. Do we have an H here? Uh, I don't see that weird parentheses thing. So I think that means H is zero. Do I have a K? Yes, I've got a constant, it's a negative three. So let's go for the vertex. So I have a vertex here then of zero, because that's my X and that's my Y. Zero, negative three. Uh, I'm gonna add one as I go up. I'm gonna subtract one as I go down. If I put one into the system, one squared is one, but now it has to be negative. So negative one minus three, negative four. I have two squared is four, and that's gonna be negative. So negative four minus three is negative seven. Up here, it's gonna be the same. I'm gonna mirror my image, I have a parabola. And now I'm gonna go ahead and graph it. I'm gonna start with zero, negative three. I like zero, one, two, three. I'm gonna start, oops, zero, one, two, three. Okay. And then I'm gonna go one, negative four, one, two, three, four. Now, oh my gosh, what did I just do? Oh my goodness. Forgive me guys, that's my pom-pom. I don't know what I was just doing. I think I, it's because I went back three first. Forgive me. Anyway. We all make mistakes. Um, and then if I go over two, I'm gonna go down seven. So I'm gonna go like around here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's usually the second to last because there are eight on most of these. And then if I go to the left, I go uh, back one and down four, back two and down seven. It's gonna look like that. And it is negative. I got a frowny face. Axis of symmetry, well, x is equal to zero. It's right on the axis. My vertex I already figured out is zero, negative three. Domain is all real numbers. The range is y is less than or equal to negative three because it's sitting on and below the negative three line. Um, first of all, this is reflected. This is flipped over. This is our FL flip, reflected across the x axis and it's also going down by three. One, two, three. Okay. Um, I have it in the right form. Yay. So now I have an H and it's going to be the opposite of my positive five. So it's negative five. I've got a K. Oh, or do I? I have a K of zero. I don't have any K there. So I'm going to have negative five. Here's my vertex. Zero. Now I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and zero. That's where I'm gonna start. This is a positive parabola, so I'm gonna make sure I go up when I go ahead and graph it. If I plug in negative four, if I plug in the rest, negative four plus five is one, and one squared is one. If I plug in negative three, all right, so here's my vertex, one, two, five, and I go negative six, negative seven. If I plug in negative three here, Negative three plus five is two. Well, what's two squared? Well, it's four. I get to plug in my rest. Okay, so the information I have here is x equals negative five. My vertex is negative five, zero. My domain, all real numbers. My range is y is greater than or equal to zero because of my y value. And I'm gonna show you in just a minute. Then we'll do the transformation. So I have my pom-pom here, and let's go ahead and graph the rest. I can go back from four and then up one. I can go back three and up four. One, two, three, four. I am going back five, I got that minute. back six, up one, back seven, and up four. Graph. Now, if I think about where my parent was, which was right here, well, let's go, the transformations. Well, really, all I'm doing is I am scooting to the left by five spaces. Let's do one. Oh, I should have done three. I'll do three, and then I'll stop. 
What's my H? My H is two. What's my K? My K is negative six. So my vertex is two comma negative six. I could go ahead and write that here. My axis of symmetry, well, it's always my X value. My domain is always over real numbers. I think my range is gonna have something to do with negative six, but we'll see. Uh, let's plug in the rest. So I'm gonna go two, three, four, one, zero, plug in three, three minus two is one, one squared is one minus six, I'm gonna get negative five. If I plug in four, four minus two is two, two squared is four, four minus six is negative two. Here are my values, let's go on the other side. My transformation, so if I go ahead and plot this, let's start with my vertex with my pink pom-pom. I'm gonna go over two and down six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is it going up or down? It's smiling. Let's just do that. And then I have a three and negative five. I'm gonna three, one, two, three, four, five. I have four and negative two. And if I do one, negative five, if I do zero, I'm gonna go down to So that is going to be the range. Is it the y going to be greater than or equal to negative six? Absolutely. It's all the stuff up here. Transformation. Well, first of all, I want two to the right. Right, two. Did I go down? Ah, uh, did indeed. I went down six. And look at how related it is to that. That's all I'm going to show. Oh, or is it? Oh, man. Okay, let's at least go to this side. If I, um, I'm just really describing the transformation without even really doing anything with uh, the information here. So uh, if I have my minus two, my H is my horizontal shift, right? And it's always gonna be opposite value. So this is gonna be, I'm gonna go to the right by two. And then I got my K value, which tells me up and down. I'm gonna go down one over here. Ooh, look at that. I have a coefficient next to my X squared. It's four. That's kind of big. I'm actually gonna get stretched out. Stretched by four, magnitude of four. And I'm also going down by five. Over here, I've got a fraction. I know it's gonna go down. So I know that that's gonna be not a stretch, but a compress. Compress by a half, right? I'm also flipping it. Ooh, this is a triple whammy. Because I'm reflected it because it's negative right here. Last but not least, I'm going left one. On number 10, reflect it over the x-axis. Okay, then translate it. So, well, I'm gonna start with my y equals. Uh, if you ever see that word reflected, you know that's a negative sign. Now, I need parentheses because I've got some translations going on. If I'm going six to the left, that means the opposite, which is plus six squared. Let's do 11 is translated, so I'm gonna do my, does it say reflected? No, so it's gotta be positive. It helps you if it's positive. I've got an X, oh, one unit to the right is gonna be minus one squared, and then five down, minus five. Okay, I think uh, that'll get you going. Good luck, may the force be with you.